Hey there, I'm Jonas. Welcome to the Box Monkey channel. I just got a new web address so you can get to my channel directly by going on the URL monkey.space. You just write monkey.space. And uh, that's it. So that way it's simpler to find my channel. Uh, I also made a new logo and new channel art so you can tell me if you like it or if you don't like it. Uh, the other day I made a review on, sorry, not this one. I made a review of this watermelon ukulele. It's a very cheap ukulele which you can get online for about $25. So really, really cheap. And it has a pretty good sound, but some people ask me, how does it compare to the, Ma the Makala Dolphin? So that's a good question. That's why I'm making this video today. We're going to be comparing them both side by side and just playing a few things. The full review of this, of this one is in the other video. So we're just gonna be comparing today. If you want to see more information, go check out the other video. I'll put a link to this other video right here. And I'm also going to be comparing it to my good old Mahilele with the plastic back, which is the one that I use in most of my videos for now. So uh, that way you can see, compare it to something that you might already know the sound of from my other videos. Just a simple G chord just to check the sound. So one difference is the price, of course, $25 versus $45 versus more like something like $60. The sound is a bit different. Uh, you might have heard it's a little bit, this one is a little bit brighter sound than the Makala Dolphin. And this one is somewhere is yet a little bit brighter. I would say this one is about in the middle. The watermelon ukulele is a pretty good middle between bright and mellow. So 
that's pretty good actually. It depends what you like. So I got used to to this one, so I like the fact the fact that it's bright means it sounds a little bit louder also. So I really like the Mahi Lele. But if you like something in between that's a little bit more mellow, this one is a little bit more mellow. And if you really like something mellow, totally mellow, very deeper tones, well then the Makala is the one for you. But in terms of sound quality, even though I might, I like the Mahi Lele pretty much, maybe I'm biased just because I'm used to it, but I would say these two are a little bit, are about equal, just with different qualities of tones. And as you might have seen on my review of this watermelon ukulele, when I got it, the, the soundboard was actually a little bit glued, uh, uh, glue, the glue was off a little bit, so I had to put a piece of tape, or if you wanted to do it more nicely, then you could put some glue, but that is actually a problem. Well, it, it, it works perfectly now, so it's very easy to fix, but if you don't want to have to do that, then you might want to go for a little bit more expensive ukulele, like the $45 Makala. Another difference is that this one and this one are made of plastic. The back is made of plastic on the Makala. Whereas on this melon ukulele, watermelon ukulele, you, you, the whole thing is made of basswood. So, as you might have known, as you might know from my other reviews, I, to me, it's completely fine to have a plastic back. But I know some people prefer wood, so from that point of view, this one's actually better even though it's cheaper. And except for this soundboard here, well, all, all three of these ukuleles really have a nice finish. All three of them have pretty rounded off frets. This one, uh, the watermelon ukulele, actually has probably the most most rounded off frets. They're, they feel nice and smooth on the side, so that's a little advantage. And in all three cases, the fret action is pretty good. You see, the, the strings aren't too far away from the, from the fretboard. Same here. The strings aren't too far away, so you won't have them wobbling all around. So that's a pretty good thing on all three of these ukuleles. The Makala used to have this problem that the frets, the strings were very high up, but on the newer models, the frets are also, the strings are pretty close to the fretboard. So no more problem there. And finally, of course, there's a design if that's important to you, where this one is more of a classical, made of wood, looks wooden. This one looks like a watermelon, which is pretty cool. And the Makala has a dolphin, which I like a lot. And here they are from up close, so you can see the design difference. One little detail, if you're used to playing using these dots here, which tell you which fret you're playing on, well, this watermelon ukulele doesn't have them. So I guess that's fine, you can just add them on with uh, some paint. Just make a little dots, but just so you know. Whereas the Mahilele here has them engraved in the wood, so this isn't just paint, which is pretty cool. So I hope this helped you out. Uh, if you did like it, then you can subscribe to my channel if you want. It's free on the button down here. Uh, and you can check out my other videos. There's a bunch of other reviews and songs I play on the ukulele and some didgeridoo and some other songs with friends. Hey, I have to whisper now because some people here are sleeping, but this is just to say that a few friends and I are launching an app called LeMap, L-E-M-A-P-P, -P, for Android and iPhone. You can already download it, but we're still working on it. It's an app which brings people uh, together in real life that are interested in similar things just to discuss about subjects. So it'll be fun. Uh, but we're working on it and it's a lot of work, so uh, we chose to start a, an Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign so people can help us out in any way. So if you're interested, I'll put the link right here to our crowdfunding campaign.